Well, my name's Keith Davidson. I'm from Golden, Colorado. This is the Mighty, Mighty Falcon. I've been racing the Mighty Falcon since 97 out of uh, Colorado with Rocky Mountain Finish Racing. And it's just a 63 and a half Falcon Sprint. And uh, really fun to drive, as you can imagine. It's a uh, little tail happy, which makes it fun. It's a uh, Pikes Peak champion. We raced this car five years on Pikes Peak. And uh, coast to coast from Lime Rock to Portland, Monterey Historics, and uh, it's, uh, it's really a special car. Really fun to drive and gets a lot of attention wherever we go. So, thank you. How did you come to get this car? Did you always I, I, uh, I fell in love with the Falcon Sprint when I was living in Hawaii, and I had a Mustang at the time. And uh, I was flabbergasted, gobstruck, and uh, uh, I couldn't buy it in Hawaii, but as soon as we got back stateside, I bought a, a Sprint in, uh, in the Denver area and uh, had to find somebody to help me prepare it as a race car. And so I went to, I called uh, Rick Kopak at SEC at uh, uh, Shelby American he said, go see this guy, Walt Hayne in Evergreen. And that began a long friendship and, and racing relationship with the great Walt Hayne, who was a national champion driving Shelby GT350. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have his son here today and uh, racing uh, with us still, uh, Chip Hayne. So uh, we're, we're basically a team. And uh, this car is, is uh, uh, it's about as period as we can make it. It's got seven inch wheels and uh, a 289 stock block, stock heads. Um, essentially, it's uh, all metal, you know, no fiberglass. And uh, we've got the original coach work in the car, original. And the uh, car has a little bit of patina and uh, it's, it's really pretty fast, so it's uh, it's really a lot of fun to drive. So I noticed there's two Falcons here this week. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of unique to see more than one Falcon. This is a 63. Yeah, and that's John Long. He's uh, got a 64. And in 64, they were uh, they were homologated with fiberglass uh, bits. And uh, they raced in the... Uh, the Monte Carlo rally, same as this car in 63, but uh, at SCCA, uh, they were allowed to run with fiberglass, and so they uh, were very light and very fast. And uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a, uh, a funny story about that. One of the engine builders at Shelby American had a uh, 64 Falcon, and on the weekends, he'd race it against the factory GT350s. This is in 60, 65. And uh, uh, he was beating uh, the GT350s and the story went that Carol uh, came up to him and he was an employee of Shelby American. Carol said, get that car out of here. You're beating, the, beating our factory cars and making us look bad. And so he had to stop ready, sold the car and that was, uh, that car became Mike Eddy's car. Who's uh, races out of uh, Los Angeles? So anyway, oh my God. this car had, it wasn't an original race car, but it does have a racing history. This car has a um, a 30-year racing history. Uh, it was originally a street car, and uh, it was constructed for racing by a, a GT350 racer, Walt Hayne, and uh, his son Chip. And so it's essentially a GT350, a 1966 GT350. Uh, in Falcon clothing, and so it's got the period brakes, period brakes, engine transmission, and uh, four nine-inch rear end. So it's, it's got all the all those bits and pieces, and um, Ford Galaxy radiator, and uh, and so forth. So it's uh, we run the stock bumper, which is is uh, pretty unusual. There aren't too many uh, guys racing the vintage stock bumper, except maybe John Kirby Miller, who's no longer with us. He used to race here in his uh, in his Comet rally car, and God bless him.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks.